So today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, today it's actually about rock chip repair. Random, I know, but it's something I needed to do and I figured why not film it. So um, like anybody else, I have rock chips on my car. Just just a few, really. Like I try to keep my distance when I follow people, so kind of reduce as much as possible. But fuck, dude, it's life. You drive the car, it's going to happen. So um, I consider like rock chip repair like typical maintenance on the car, like as I would wash it or wax it or whatever. I usually like to fill in rock chips to prevent rusting or, I don't know, just for the peace of mind of it looking better. So anyways, that's what we're doing today. Uh, I picked up some of this Dr. Color Chip. Um, if you Google chip repair, this is like the number one thing that everybody recommends. And this is supposed to be like the end all of rock chip repair compared to your typical, um, you know, fill in paint, uh, sand it down, and polish it, and do the whole shit that just takes way too long. So this is apparently a 10 minute process. So I'm really skeptical. I don't think it's gonna be that great, personally. I paid 50 bucks for this kit, and you'll see what's in it, but I'm really skeptical about it. I don't think that it's gonna turn out as well as the video show. Uh, however, I want to be proven wrong. If I can be proven wrong, I'm going to be really happy with the product and um, I'm definitely going to recommend it at that point. At this point, it's kind of up in the air. So my, uh, the Evo, um, the Evo is a really, uh, it's a really weird color. I mean, it's an awesome color. It's my favorite color, but it's graphite gray. So you can see the actual pearl inside the paint and um, it's a hard color to match. Uh, most people, if you take it to a paint shop, they're going to have a really hard time matching it um, uh, compared to a lot of other paints. Uh, so, like I said, I'm skeptical about it, and I have some rock chips, so uh, let's kind of take a look at what we're working with. Alright, so I've gone ahead and done some OCD shit and actually taped everything off that I'm going to be working with today. So, um, pretty much everywhere where you see blue tape is where I have some chips, um, either big or small, that I'm going to fill in. I have some back there. Um, some on the other side of the car and uh, yeah, so I taped it off the uh, the box calls that you do like an alcohol like a rubbing alcohol wipe down to kind of make sure the area is clean before you start working with it. Um, I washed the whole car today so I know everything else is clean. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of um, just spray some rubbing alcohol in the towel, clean off the area and go from there. But this is going to be the first chip that I kind of want to address and you can actually see it from right here. Um, if you, uh, this lighting is actually pretty good for this, but uh, let's see if it focuses. So right there is where we're going to be um, doing the first, uh, the first chip repair, and uh, it's it wouldn't be that noticeable if it wasn't like right on the clear coat to where it's white. Um, so that's what we're going to start first. And then I'm probably going to hit the mirrors and maybe uh, give you guys a few other examples. But this is the uh, that's numero uno right there. So. We'll see how it turns out. I realized that doing this with one hand is a lot harder than I thought. Usually isn't. What? Okay, so rubbing alcohol. Where's the chip? There it is. I'm just gonna wipe that bitch down. Wipe it down on a microfiber cloth. Actually, the moisture makes it basically disappear for a quick second. Till it comes back with a fucking vengeance. Okay, so we'll give it a second. In the box, uh, you're gonna get uh, at least the one with the one that I got. I got a microfiber cloth, um, a color chip microfiber cloth. Their little wipe down thing for this seal act. Um, a couple paint brushes, and um, the graphite gray paint, which looks a shit ton darker than what this looks like. So, like I said, curious to how this is gonna work out. However, if it looks any bit better than that big white mark and not terrible, then I guess I'll be happy. You know, if it's like 70% better, I'll be stoked. So, um, yeah, back to the one hand thing. Let's see if we can, uh, if we can do this. Okay, so I have the nitrate glove on. Um, it says you just dip, dip the tip in. So she says, get a nice little blob of paint on there. Find uh, find the chip, and um, we'll go ahead and apply it right next to the chip. Now we're going to smear it into 
the chip. No shit. All right, so we let it dry for five minutes now and it looks a lot better. So we're gonna take this seal act here. It actually smells like, I think it smells like bubble gum. It smells pretty good. So I know that doesn't matter, but let's go ahead and put a quarter size. Looks about right. So we have that on there and now we're just gonna wipe it down flat. Immediately hand buff your douche shine using a microfiber towel. Microfiber towel. And let's go ahead and just hand buff the area. It's kind of important to tape around so nothing else is smearing, but okay, so let's see this and that chip is still fucking there. So I think I literally removed that fucking seal act with, removed the paint with that seal act shit. So let's go ahead and uh, try that again. I guess not press so hard with the towel. So I put on another application of paint. Um, this time I, I didn't video it because it was the same exact process. So we'll see how it turns out after we let it dry. So for the last go, I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna do a big ass blob of paint since it really doesn't even matter at this point. So got a lot of paint on this brush, so I'm gonna just blob it. Okay, I mean I've smeared it. So after attempt three, it is still um, definitely there. So one other thing that this box should say is that um, it says basically once all excess paint is removed around the chip immediately hand buff the area to a shine using micro. So basically it should say remove re buff the surrounding area with a microfiber chip. Um, so it kind of makes it so we're not actually buffing out the uh, out the chip paint. But okay, so I um, I did it one more time. I uh, like fourth time is a fucking charm. I did a pretty heavy coat. And I kind of hit it from a different angle. So um, let's go ahead and see if you guys can uh, can see it. I mean, with the light and everything, it's actually right. Holy shit, where the fuck is it? Okay, so literally, I it's right here. Okay. So there you guys go. Um, it works. It does. This product actually works. This uh, this Dr. Color chip, it actually works. Um, it takes four times, so I mean, you're gonna actually have to work for it. Uh, maybe hit the chips from a different angle, kind of play the different amounts of paint. Um, you know, like try to mess around with the sealant, the seal act to see if uh, you can get better results. If maybe, like you said, you wipe it a different way. So um, it took a little bit, but um, it actually did work. So. Different colored cars may be easier, white may be easier, um, fucking black may be easier. Uh, this color is just kind of odd. Um, I knocked out a few other random small chips and it actually seemed to work pretty well. Uh, anything small, it worked really, really, really well on. Uh, anything that's kind of weird shaped or kind of bigger, it you, you have to do a couple coats um, to really see the results. But otherwise, I would say I recommend the product. Um, and uh, yeah, let's uh, let's shoot to a couple more examples. We're on the other side of the car for uh, another couple of examples. I'm basically just gonna show you guys the before and after, um, doing the same process uh, and go from there. So here we actually have, this isn't really a chip, this is actually a, like a gash almost. And it really isn't that noticeable, but I'm just gonna hit it with a little bit of paint. Um, just do one you know, application and see how it turns out. If it turns out better, then cool. If it doesn't, then I'm not too worried about it. And then here's, um, here's a noticeably white chip right there, and that one's pretty small. So uh, that one I'll take, uh, I'll usually, I'll probably do, I don't know, maybe two applications on it just to see if I can get it to completely disappear. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, so I just finished up with those two repairs. Um, there was the chip on the door, and then there was those gashes down on the side skirt. So um, let's see if we can 
You can see these things. You see them? Maybe? Yep, they're right there. So, I mean, but from back here, that is a lot better than what it was. And on the door, um, you can kind of see a little bit right, right, where's my finger? Oh, right there. Um, I did one application. I might hit it one more time just to see if I can completely take it away. But for the most part, um, that wasn't bad at all. I'm actually really, really impressed. I hit a couple more spots here that I had down there that I might uh, go back over. But um, overall, uh, I have to say that I'm actually uh, really, really impressed with the product. Um, I was actually thinking about it. And so I've spent 20 to 30 bucks on OEM paint pens for this car in the past. And um, uh, this is 50 bucks and a paint pen that thing dries out faster than anything um, I bought a couple of them and uh, They usually dry out within a year and they're usually unusable and you can't even use the pen portion You have to usually use a small model brush to actually do any um, chip repair. So I Think it's an awesome bargain and apparently the the shelf life. I think they said it was a year to two years which um for a half ounce bottle that came with it, and I think a full ounce of sealant, I think it will last me that long. If not, um, I have no problem buying the product again. Uh, like I said, it gave me a quick scare at first because it wasn't giving me that instant satisfaction that I thought I was gonna be getting, but after a couple applications, it actually worked out really, really well. So um, I'm impressed with the product, I am. Uh, it, uh, it definitely proved me wrong and um, I'm happy I bought it. So if anybody's on the edge of whether or not it's worth it, uh, even if you, dude, if even if you don't really care about rock chips, but you still kind of know they're there. I mean, fuck, dude, I'd buy it anyways, just because it gives you the uh, the peace of mind knowing that you fixed them and you have the option to fix them down the road uh, and have awesome results. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. If you dig this content, um, if you kind of like this type of how-to style. Um, you know, please like, comment, subscribe. I know it's not motorcycle related, but technically I think you can actually get your motorcycle paint matched by that company, by Dr. Color Chip, and um, get it taken care of as well. So it kind of relates to both the car and uh, motorcycle world. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later. Peace. Oh.